Oh my. What is up YouTube? We're back. It's been about two weeks since I've even touched the car. As you know, I've been struggling with fitment issues. Up front, I have like an inch of tire between the fender and it's bugging the shit out of me. Today we're gonna do some addressing and swapping some parts, maybe some modifying. I'm not 100% sure. This is not gonna be a one night situation. This is gonna be like a multi-night situation. It's actually midnight right now, so I'm not gonna be out here that long. I'm actually struggling with the weird situation with the car and it's actually aggravating. The right side has more camber and better fitment, but it's also rubbing the strut. It's aggravating because I don't even want to run spacers with these wheels. I want to run just squared all the way around, no spacers, no nothing. And I can't do that. So right now it's still set up on three millimeter spacers, but I'm still rubbing the strut. And of course my dumb self took a grinder to the back of my wheel. So I took off a little bit of material of the barrel and I ground down the strut body. Like I made like a, a channel to where it's going to clear the wheel. And even with the three millimeter spacer, I'm still rubbing. So that being said, right here, as you see, like I said, I have more camber and it's way closer over here. So this is the good side. As you see, we don't have that much gap, but it's very flush. And then we come over to this side and it's actually poking. I'm not sure if it's the fender or if it's the actual alignment of the wheels. Like I said, I just took a measurement and they're both negative eight. So I'm actually puzzled right now. Also on my last test drive, I was actually very upset because we woke up, got ready, and we were supposed to go to a Cars and Coffee and that did not happen. Took it for a test drive and found out my axle was clicking. I didn't want to send it a whole hour away with a fragile axle. I didn't want to take a chance of having to swap out an axle on the highway. That would not have been fun. Unfortunately, we did not get to go to a Cars and Coffee and I was disappointed and also my fiance was disappointed. I was actually pretty geeked up about it. I was ready to take the car for a little trip and it didn't go that way. What's making me want to do this anyways, I have to take out the axle and replace the axle. So while I'm in there, I'm going to be adjusting some more fitment issues, I guess. I actually feel really freaking stupid right now. So this is how I currently have the camber set up on the struts. I had it notched over just a little bit. And come to find out that this will move all the way over. And it does have two mounting holes on the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see up there. So it'll mount underneath literally right here and right here so we'll have four bolts on there still but yeah that's how i'm about to have them now going from this to this so let's hope that this gives me what i need what we did is added more camber up here as you see, we're maxed out. We're maxed out up top. And what we did is we put the stock PSI sleeve back on. And if you see how many threads I have here, it's definitely way shorter than what my other sleeve was. So I'm gonna throw a picture in of how I had it before with the angled sleeves. And we're about to be super low now issue is with these wheels so since they're plus 20 by nine nine and a half um they were rubbing the collar a little bit so i had to shave down i had to flatten out that collar we're about to button everything up on this side and we're gonna set it on the ground and see how this thing sits all right so we got like 40 psi in the bags I 
can dig it. This is how it sits. This is about ride height, which is perfect. Literally perfect. Stand back and look. There's the back. There's the front. Very satisfied. Very satisfied. Let's uh, set this thing on the ground and see how this thing looks aired out. Oh my, finally, oh my goodness, wow, I'm stoked right now, yes, look at that, look at that, that is what I was shooting for, So it looks like it, it's exactly what we needed. So what we did is we took the angled sleeves off and put the stock PSI sleeves back on. And then we adjusted our camber up top, maxed that all the way out, took out our spacer and look at that. Literally. Perfect. So stoked. Finally, ride height is gonna be looking so sexy. Aired out obviously looks freaking. Is this even mine? Well, I'm freaking super stoked with this fitment. Everything is literally dialed. It's perfect. Ride height is A1. Airing out is exactly what I wanted. It's literally perfect. I, just, I can't even stop staring at it. All right, what is up guys? So it's the second day of doing this. We are about to knock out this other side. So what I just did is take off the exabolt. What I'm gonna do is undo the spindle, drop the spindle, and then unbolt the strut from the top. And we will be golden. And then what we're gonna do is put the stock sleeve back on. So as you see, we still got the bag camera kit. We're gonna put the stock sleeve back on, thread it all the way up, get everything buttoned up, and call it done so we have axle out this is actually the axle i'm putting in uh, now we gotta unbolt the strut from the top and we just took our sleeve off so yeah we're picking away at this so we just wrapped up the driver's side just got everything buttoned up top is bolted up axle is all torqued everything's all torqued stock sleeve back on and uh we're ready to put this wheel on and drop this thing back on the ground Well, I got some good news and bad news. Good news is driver's side is A1. Yes, we are sitting exactly how we should. Looks fire. Perfect. Let me come around. Perfect. But we aired out a little too low. So I actually just buckled the fender. It literally went inwards because it got sucked into the channel of the tire. Um, so yeah, talk about perfect fitment, right? Otherwise, this thing is looking exactly how I wanted. It's very foggy in here, very foggy. We're sitting good, sitting good. Uh, I feel like this fender is about to be sucked in too. And once I air out a few times, I'm sure it will. I'm kind of upset with what I did airing out. I should have aired out on my phone and watched it, but otherwise ride height's A1, everything's A1. I am gonna be riding around 60 PSI, which is a little high for me. I'm normally about 50 PSI, so we'll see. I might adjust my dampening a little bit. I 
kind of pulled it back out, but I did crack the paint. So what happened was I aired out and the fender got sucked into that channel and then it completely inverted my fender. That's gonna be an issue on this side, but for some reason this side does not have that issue. It literally sits on top of the rim. I don't know, overall, I'm content with how it sits. Um, no spacers, squared all the way around. Everything fits exactly how I imagined. So I'm gonna give you guys some scenic shots and I think next video, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. I, like I said, I still have a whole list of things I still need to do to this car. So it's hard to say what I wanna tackle next, but I do know that as of right now, the car is drivable and that's all I wanted. Um, I know it's winter time and it's really crappy out, so I really don't plan on driving the car anytime soon. Maybe if it's a nice day, but I did want it to just be dialed. So we're dialed, now it's addressing small issues, small fixes. Um, this whole car needs a respray but that's like way later on. I am not respraying this car right now. That is no. So I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry for all the talking. This is kind of like a boring little video, but I figured I'd show you guys what I did to dial in this front fitment. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next episode.